Chuck, I got to believe, though, outside of New York and in middle America yeah. and also in places like Florida, this can't be a popular deal. I, it, look, it's, it's not. And, and if you looked at public opinion over the last six months on Iran, you know, the public was essentially agreeing with positions, meaning they believed diplomacy had to be done at almost all costs, and they didn't trust the Iranians. Well, what are the two basic arguments? Still, the president saying you got to give diplomacy a chance, you got to do this, and the, the I think the most effective argument against the deal is you can't trust the Iranians. Look what they'll do with the with the money, and that's why the public is split. That's why there's there's nobody excited about this deal. Okay, that, there, there's clear there's more anger. What you don't see, there isn't a balance of the uh, man. This is a great deal. You haven't heard anybody say this is a great deal. You saying this is a workable deal is about the best argument you hear for it. But I think it's simply because the public, and I, and I do think the president should be acknowledging the fact that this isn't a perfect deal more often. I feel like they oversell the deal sometimes, and that can make it harder to convince a Steve Israel to come on board. All right, Chuck.